Hey Henry, this is uh, Granddad. I'm going to read a story to you called The Thomas and Friends, The Easter Engine. So let's have a look. It is Easter morning. James, Percy, and Thomas are being washed for the Easter parade. We are bright and shining like Easter eggs, says Thomas. Thomas is happy. He will lead the parade. Suddenly, Sir Topham Hatt arrives. He has an important job for Thomas. Thomas must go to McCall's farm. He must get an Easter egg. Thomas will do the job. Then he will race to the parade. Thomas zooms down the track. He sees McConnell's farm. Thomas stops at the farm. He's surprised. The egg is very shiny. It's also very big. It's the biggest egg in the world, says Thomas. Terence tells Thomas to be careful. He tells Thomas not to break the egg. Chug, chug, Thomas rolls slowly up the track. He's very careful. He does not want to break the egg. The egg shakes and wobbles. It does not fall. Whack, whack. Thomas stops. He lets the ducks cross the track. Thomas reaches the parade. It's almost over. Thomas is not the first engine in the parade. He is the last engine. But the children cheer for Thomas. And the children cheer for that giant egg. The parade is over. How did the egg get so big? asks Thomas. Sir so Topham Hat chuckles. The egg is not real. It's made of paper. Rip, rip, Sir Topham Hat opens the egg. It is full of Easter baskets. One child gives Thomas a basket. Thomas is very happy. The children love their baskets and say, Thank you, Thomas. We are like big, shiny eggs, James says to Thomas. But you are like a big Easter bunny, says Percy. Happy Easter, says Thomas. Happy Easter, Henry.